More than a week after the Magna earthquake, aftershocks are still shaking the Salt Lake Valley. Just this morning, there was a pair of magnitude three aftershocks. They're the latest in a string of hundreds. And Bob, all that shaking is causing some anxiety for folks. Fox 13's Haley Higgins joins us from Salt Lake International Airport. Haley. Yeah, good evening. Well, the center of these quakes is in a different spot. It's closer here to the airport than in Magna. That's where the 5.7 quake was last week. Now, these earthquakes do feel a little differently because they are in a different spot, but it is causing the same anxiety for a lot of people in the Salt Lake Valley. The 3.3 magnitude around 1015 this morning was among over 30 aftershocks just Thursday. The floor jumped and lifted for a few seconds. In Taylorsville, it's been difficult for Kat Archuleta to keep her Hello Kitty collection upright. Instantly, I think I kind of freeze up and then in kicks the anxiety. There have been more than 560 aftershocks in just the last eight days. And I forget for a moment and then I'm like, oh, here we go again. Like, nope, it's not over. But yeah, it's been scary for sure. Most are too weak to be felt, but the 32 that reached a magnitude three or higher. Definitely very nerve wracking. It's making the whole situation just that much more scary. Thursday's quakes moved east and closer to the surface, according to Keith Coper, who says it's common to feel on edge. The anxiety is perfectly normal. And, uh, you know, it depends. People that live sort of downtown are feeling these, you know, a lot more strongly. Heightened anxiety can also cause so-called phantom quakes. When you feel shaking without an actual earthquake, Coper says it's all to be expected. It's creepy, right? It's unnerving. <laughs> you know, it's not fun. And, you know, we were really fortunate, though, that nobody got hurt. Coper expects the smaller aftershocks to continue for a few more weeks. Utah shouldn't be alarmed, but he adds the risk is slightly higher for a larger earthquake now than before the 5.7. That's important to emphasize it is slightly higher than it would have been before these earthquakes for the big one, which is a seven magnitude. Now, if you're feeling anxious, there are things you can do to help with that. Coper says it's important to have a plan, have food and medications near a door just in case. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.